Hello and welcome back to SRE Plan Maintenance. Uh, we were doing the, in the previous session, we were uh, going through the different activities for maintenance activities for object parts. So, what we have done is we have done a catalog, we have done a catalog profile, and we have uh, changed our equipment and we have also done a created equipment assets. So, the next uh, step will be to create a single cycle plan. So let's go and create a single cycle plan. We go into the transaction IP41. So in IP41, we take the maintenance plan category as BN. So maintenance notification, we are creating a notification. Maintenance of plan. Uh, what we will say is we do it every 30 days, so which means every month, once a month, this activity will be done. So it is monthly. Uh, the equipment is fan. The plant is 1000. Work center is this one. Yes. Uh, the notification type uh, is in one. Notification of maintenance request. Maintenance request. That's okay. So it's picked up the function location from the equipment itself. Uh, we can give it a priority, say so there's a high priority. We need this to be done definitely. Let's assign the task task list here. So with the fan. So this is fan maintenance. This is what one. This is the one we created. So this is the task list. So let's get into the scheduling part of our notification. Hundred percent. Let's say one eighty days. We need this to run. So that's it. And once we save it, it should give us. Yeah, it starts from today. It has given us a maintenance plan 358. So just update this one 358. So once this is done, so the next step is to schedule. So we can go and schedule it directly from here. System will take us to IP10. Schedule. So let's go into schedule. We say start. Yes, starting from today. So as we have 30 days, one, so these are six different activities. Uh, let's release this one and save. The first, so the notification now will be generated and it will be sent to the relevant maintenance person so that he can do the activities. The system is going to save the notification. So once the notification has been done, so then we can go and uh, go into the notification. So the maintenance plan has now been scheduled. So if you go into like IW22, system will give us the notification it has created. So this is the notification. Uh, So we are in the notification now, in the notification screen. So what we need to do is, uh, so let's say what uh, we will do is we will just say description, checking the main equipment and its parts. Okay. So this is what we need to do. Add the activity text. This is what we've done. The activity started. If there are no parts, so we can just complete it. But we have parts, so we will go into the parts screen. Let's leave this one. So it release me now. I mean, we're starting the work on it. So let's go into items. So in the item now, let's pick up which item we want to check or we want to maintain. So let's say we'll go into the shaft. So shelf to there, so I picked up, I picked up the
select this line I will go into task to see what task I can do. Okay, to check. So this is the task and let's see what is the activity I've done. Check okay, so it has been okay. So it's I say this is okay, everything has been done. So I go back into tasks. I will release this one. So this status will change. Oh, sorry. So I need to select. And that's because I, nothing else is remaining, so I will just say complete. So the code has changed now to TSCO, which means it's been task is completed. So this is how it is done. I will go back to main screen. So I can just save it here. If you want, I can save it here, otherwise I can continue. Let me go back again. I will, what I will want to do is I should have done. Maybe I forgot the other part, so I'm just going back inside because my notification is still open. It is not it was not completed. So what I can do is I can go back into the items. Okay, now let's go and pick up the second item. So let's say bearing. I select this item. Go into tasks. So what is my task? So I can OK to repair. Go into activities. To be repaired. Uh, go back into tasks. So go back into activities. Uh, I think the activity that I have set up should have been repaired, not to be repaired. So this is a bit uh, wrong here, it should have been repaired. Repaired and replaced. So I think this one we, once we were creating our catalog, we should have been put the correct wordings here. Yeah, that's okay. Close this one and let's go back into the tasks. Select this line, release. And we save it and complete it. So that's why it's done. Let's go back into the main screen. If everything has been done, so we can what we can do is we can just say equipment and parts have been checked. So once it is everything is done, we can go and complete this one here. So this time, so it means that this notification is now complete. Yep. Yeah. So what are the next steps is, uh, so what we have done, we've scheduled, so that's all has been done. So this uh, notification has been done. So if we go back into our notification. So basically when uh, the time comes for the second notification, we can go into IP10. And release the second step or uh, system can be scheduled to release them automatically so that it creates a notification which goes after the 30 days which will go to the, your uh, maintenance person and he will perform the activities. So that's how we create this activities for object parts, create them the catalogs and do the remaining parts. So that's how it is done. So this is now complete. Thank you. I will see you in the next session. Uh, so I will just uh, finish up this session. Thank you.